Hey guys, back with another review and today we're going to take a look at one of the shop vac models. This model has a stainless steel 8 gallon tank with 5.5 peak horsepower. The first test I put it through was tackling some dirty floor mats and car flooring. I tried different accessories to see which would pick up this debris the easiest, but they all seem to be about the same. It has a friction fit hose, 3 extension wands, a 10 inch wet dry nozzle, a gulper, crevice tools, a tool holder, a cartridge filter, and a collection bag. I was expecting an easier suction, but it seemed like it really needed to break the dust free from the mat for it to get picked up. With a little extra effort, it did get the job done. This shop vac, like most shop vacs, also has a rear blow port, which can be used for blowing things like leaves. These leaves, on the other hand, can also be vacuumed, although the nozzle head is a bit small and it does get clogged every now and then. A nifty feature this shop vac has is an onboard cord and tool storage add-on. The extension wand comes in handy for floors and corners so you don't have to bend down too much. If we want to switch from dry to wet, all we have to do is remove the collection bag and put the head unit back on. The wet suction was pretty impressive, and this is what makes these shop vacs very convenient to have. They work great on wet carpets and especially basement floods. This was my favorite part, and this footage isn't sped up, it's shown in real time. The shop vac had no problem taking care of this full sink in a few seconds. So that's it for the shop vac. 